Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin here to take a broad generalized view. This is going to cover the entire month of August of 2016. I also want to remind you that your weekly videos and your weekend videos are up. If you visit the channel and the playlist, you will find them there. A lot of new subscribers, so welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. If you're trying to contact me, please do so directly on my website. It is www.ms-swami.com. So Capricorns, let's take a look. Entire month of August of 2016. Summer's in full force. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Okay, Capricorns. We're beginning with the Ace of Swords. Followed by a major arcana of the devil. Followed by another major arcana of the high priestess. Another major arcana of the wheel of fortune. We're looking at the six of wands. And we're looking at the nine of pentacles. So Capricorns, what I want to do is I'm going to break this down to three and three. Then I'm going to pull some more for you because we are covering the entire month of August. Okay. Starting right here, we got a lot going on. We're looking at a new beginning. Okay. Now, the devil coupled with the high priestess indicates that you may be feeling defeated in some area. Okay. Overall, in the grand scheme of things, from what I'm looking at, I don't see it as being that way. Okay. So, we'll be warned of this. Um, the first part of the month may be a little slow. slow low self-esteem I guess you would say uh, but honestly I see new, no worries we are looking at new beginnings and just looking at a small delay in getting that started for you but as we move forward we're looking at that major kind of the wheel of fortune showing the wheel is about to turn now surrounding that shows what it's turning to okay here we go we have the six of wands which indicates victory Okay, and for some of you, this is victory in regards to love and relationships. We're looking at finances. You are financially where you need to be. Now, some of you being indicated may be waiting on some type of settlement, some type of money to come through. This is a good month. I'm going to say we're probably looking at mid to late month versus the first part of the month for that money to actually come in. But financially, the month of August looks really good. Going further for Capricorn, I'm looking at the Page of Wands. We're looking at the Knight of Swords. We're looking at the Three of Pentacles. I'll give you guys one more. And I'm looking at the Seven of Wands. Okay. Starting with the Page of Wands, this generally indicates a message probably from someone from the past. Okay. Looking beside of that, we notice that things are rushing in. And for a lot of you, I'm being indicated that this is more so in your personal life than in your professional life. There's something new coming rushing in. There's something from the past that's coming rushing in. Going back to, I'm not necessarily seeing obstacles here for you, guy. I'm seeing some stress over um, finances, okay? This could indicate something that may break down this month or an appliance that needs to be replaced. So I'm going to give you another one on this. We're looking at the Ten of Wands. And that shows that you are overcoming your struggles. So Capricorn, this isn't a bad month for you. Guys, it may start off a little slow, but it kind of opens up as the month goes on. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Capricorns, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.